Can you do this test, which predicts how long you'll live? The sit and rise test is based on a 2014 study published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, which showed that participants who were not able to get up and down off the ground had a greater overall risk of death. We also know that the number one way people end up in a nursing home is they are not able to get up and down off the ground. To perform the test, cross your legs and lower yourself down under control. If you don't feel comfortable, feel free to use a couch or a chair or even your other knee or hand for support. Again, the same is true on the way back up. If you need support or to modify, put a knee down, put a hand down, or even use a piece of furniture. If you're nervous about going to the floor in this position, go ahead and modify it by performing the test to a couch or to a table. One of the ways to get better at this test is to simply regularly perform the test. And you can practice sitting crisscross applesauce in front of the TV. If the ground feels like too much of a stretch as you're starting out, just sit crisscross applesauce or even one leg at a time on the couch. The goal is actually to try a bunch of different floor seated positions like this 90-90, or you can sit in long sit. You can also practice sitting with your leg up, but ultimately the goal is to change positions as often as your body feels like it needs to in order to practice these different shapes. We want to remind you that this is not just one more thing you're going to need to add into your day. This can be easily performed while you're doing something else. You can begin to work on your hip range of motion and restore your ability to get up and down off the ground in the evening while you're reading a book or watching TV. Give it a shot.